This video is brought to you by PowerPerformanceProducts.com. Get $15 off when you mention MMA interviews now. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv. We're here at the MGM Grand. This man, Wonder Boy, Stephen Thompson, just got a, a little sweat on downstairs there. It's Wednesday uh, evening. How you feeling for this great. fight on Saturday? Uh, I feel great, man. Um, you know, I'm fighting a guy named Nishan Burrell. He's 9-2, and two, so uh, uh, he's a boxer from Philly, man, with some wrestling background, so you're going to see a good war. Safe to say that you have the experience advantage, not necessarily more fights in MMA, but you've had so much martial arts experience. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I've actually, you know, I've been in the martial arts since I was three years old. Uh, I had my first fight when I was 15, and uh, uh, it's been all the all over the world uh, doing kickboxing. And about a few years ago, switched to MMA. So now I'm here fighting for the biggest promotion in the world, UFC. Been a pretty crazy ride. I know you've had a little bit of a layoff, right, since your last fight, and kind of maybe solidifying a few other things in your game. Oh, definitely, man. I mean, always trying to improve my game. But uh, you know, it's been a year since the Matt Brown fight. So I was supposed to fight in November. Supposed to fight a guy named Bisam Yosef from Sweden. Ended up tearing or re-injuring my left knee. It was an old injury. They had repaired some meniscus and uh, re retore it. So they went in and cleaned it up. So now I'm good to go. And everything's feeling 100%. I mean, talk about your camp and your preparation for this one. Uh, I spent most of my camp back home in South Carolina. Brought some guys in from uh, uh, Alchemist MMA. Brought some guys in uh, for us. Uh, uh, Mike, the Lion King, great guy. He's a 185er. You'll see him in the UFC here pretty soon, man. He's a beast. So it's been going really good. I'm, I'm, I'm healed. So I feel 100%. Matchup wise, seems like a good one. I mean, his wrestling background isn't top pedigree or anything like that, and safe to say he's going to go in there and you're going to get to showcase your striking. Yeah, that's the plan. So we'll see what what, what happens. But uh, looking for the big W. Uh, you know, Nishan's no joke. He's a tough guy and loves to go out there and throw throw hard punches. So it's going to be a good one. Man, I mean, I like he was just talking about. We were over at Mandalay Bay. Seems like just yesterday we were interviewing you after your big uh, highlight reel kick knockout. Yeah, man, it was, seems like it was yesterday, but it, it's been over a year, man. It's crazy. So it's crazy how time flies, and hopefully you'll see a better Stephen Wonderboy Thompson this go-round. It's kind of um, good luck, I guess, that you're on such a big card again, too, though. That was a big card. This is a big one this weekend. we got the heavyweights on the card. What fight are you looking most uh, forward to maybe this weekend, besides your own? Man, definitely the Junior DeSantos, Mark Hunt, and uh, Cain Velasquez, Buffett Silva. Those are going to be awesome. I mean, those guys are such high-caliber fighters, you can't really tell who's going to win. So I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to come out with the W for those fights. All right, anything else you want to say, sir? Uh, actually, you know, I'd like to thank uh, Alchemist MMA, uh, the UFC. You guys can follow me on Wonderboy MMA, and thanks for having me. Steven Thompson, make sure you check him out this Saturday, live, UFC 160.